as you know, the angels uh, have been pre-programmed by Allah to do whatever things that Allah has commanded us to do. Okay, so it's no, they would not say that, oh, Tariq, you look so nice. I would not, uh, you know, you, you will be excused because, you know, you're different. Okay, if you have, we have been asked or we have been condemned to the hellfire, the angels will carry out the command regardless who we are. Okay, so it's important for us to know this. The angels will not be having full of pity for us. The angels will carry out what Allah has ordered us to do. Okay, and what is the name of angels who guard the gate of the hellfire? Malik. 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 Okay, and what the, what is the name of the angels that are uh, assisting Malik in Hellfire? Anybody knows? The name of the angels that are in the Hellfire? Azaba, Azabania. Okay, Azabania, these are the angels of the Hellfire that they are very stern and they will not be tempted by our offers, everything. They will definitely follow what Allah has ordered them to do. Okay, verse number seven. Oh, you who disbelieve, this is the only verse in the Quran in which the disbelievers are addressed. You will never, never, never see in the Quran any other verse where the disbelievers are addressed. Oh, you who disbelieve, make no excuse this day. You are being requited only for what you used to do. Yeah, so the disbelievers, they have no excuse. Okay? Inshallah, all of them have been told what to do that the message has come and yet many of them have not believed as you know a lot of people there are more people more dwellers of the hellfire than or dwellers of the paradise okay so there these believers have been warned by Allah that that's it the chance has been given to them that to worship Allah and to worship and to obey what Prophet Muhammad Wasallam has brought for us and yet if they do not follow these messages they have no excuse. Okay. The next verse, verse number eight. This is the last verse in the Quran that Ya Ayuhalladina Amanu or you or you who believe have been revealed. Okay, so this is the last time that the uh, the believers have been told about the message. What are the message? Oh you who believe, turn to Allah with sincere repentance. <laughs> Okay. Turn to Allah with sincere repentance. So it's not just repentance, but it must be sincere. Okay, what are the conditions of repentance? Anybody? Do you regret what you did? Yes, regret. And you don't do it again afterwards. Yes. Okay. So, one more, one more. And one more. You regret and you do not do. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what was, what was the last one. There is one more condition of repentance. Yeah, Allah. Yes. You may you um, stop immediately. Stop doing the sin. Yes. You make the near not to do it again. Yes. And um, you uh, regret. No, 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 no. You make the you make the intention not to do it again and you ask for Allah's forgiveness. You ask for Allah's forgiveness and make sure, inshallah, you do not do it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the most important thing. You have to have the intention not to do it again. That's the most important thing because there's no point saying Astaghfirullah when at the back of your mind, which all of us are doing that anyway. We say Astaghfirullah at the end of the, our mind, that is, we will do it again. Okay? But the word is Tawbatan Nasuha, which means sincere repentance. It's very important. Okay, this is the, inshallah, all of us will face the month of Ramadan. It is where is a month of forgiveness and the whole uh, the paradise, the door is open and the hellfire is closed. It is important for us to tr truly ask Allah for forgiveness. What are the signs that our Ramadan is accepted? One of the signs that Ramadan is accepted is after the end of Ramadan, we feel different. Okay, if we are still the same person as we did, we are still missing the prayers, we still think that uh, Fajar prayer is not important for us to wake up. If we are still the same person that can't be bothered to pray when during the whole time when we are so busy with our work, 
then I'm afraid to say that your Ramadan may not be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This one of the signs that our Ramadan is accepted, inshallah, is that we feel different, we feel closer to Allah. How can you not, uh, after Ramadan, you still continue with the things that we do before Ramadan? Okay? So we have to know this. Okay? The next one, turn to Allah with sincere repentance. It may be that your Lord will expiate from you your sins and admit you into gardens under which rivers flow. Now, just a question out of uh, curiosity. Why is it every time uh, in the Quran, Allah said, give the reward of gardens and in which rivers flow? Anybody? We told you that last week. Remember. Yeah. Anybody? Why? Don't we have a river Thames in uh, London? What is the big deal? Because <laughs> in, in Saudi, there's, yes. hard, there's, no, there's hardly no waters. Because you told me the price of petrol is cheaper than water. <laughs> yes. And it's because if you, if you know who this Quran was revealed to in the first place. Yeah. Of course, it's revealed to mankind. Yeah? But in the first place, it was revealed to the, the Arabs to change their ways. Yeah? It is hard for them to imagine that there are countries with a lot of rivers and gardens and greeneries. It's hard for them. If you, those of you who have been to Arab, Saudi Arabia, yeah, Abdul Ghaffar, uh, Ramsey, all this, you would know. It's very hot. Yeah. It's difficult to imagine that it will be a river flowing smoothly. Yeah? So by, by, by having this incentive of rivers, it will, inshallah, make them appreciate and make them want to work harder. Yeah, but of course, as you know, the rivers in paradise is different from us. The rivers here, it's very different. Yeah, the uh, smell of uh, there's honey, uh, the smell is of musk. It's very different. Okay, it's so much more than what we have here. Okay, but it is a good incentive, at least for a start, to encourage them that if they were to follow what Allah commanded them to do, they will be rewarded with a place full of greeneries, with gardens and everything. Now it, in Medina, as you know, it's so hot. Most of the gardens they are planted. Yeah, very artificial. Yeah, they even have in Medina, they even have waterfalls. Yeah, but as you know, everything is man-made. Yeah, but it is hard for them to imagine. Then, now of course, technology has advanced. Then it's hard to imagine a place, green and everything. Yeah, so it is, inshallah, for the start, it's a good incentive for them. That's why you can see many, many places when the reward of Allah, Allah will say about this, about the uh, rivers and gardens and everything. Yeah. Now, the day that Allah will not disgrace the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and those who believe with him. Yeah, inshallah, the day Allah will not disgrace us. Their light will run forward before them and in their right hands. Which light is this? What light are they talking about? Iman. Iman, okay, Iman, and of course, this is a light that will glow from the body, inshallah, before we cross the Sirat. Sirat is a bridge that is over the hellfire, and as you know, it will be very, 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 very dark. Only the light that glows out from the, our body will guide our way to the end of the bridge, which is, inshallah, will be the entrance to the Jannah or the entrance to paradise, okay. Some of us, as you know from the hadith, will have lights as big as mountains. Some of us will have lights as big as a house. Yes, some of us have lights who flicker and off and on all the time. The hypocrites will be like this. Yeah? And, inshallah, yeah, the light will run forward before them in their right hands. They will say, our Lord, keep perfect our light for us. And do not put it off till we cross the sirat. And grant us forgiveness. Verily, you are able to do all things. It's a very good du'a. This is, as you know, is in part of the um, steps of Allah du'a in the, the, the list that you have, inshallah. Yeah? So it is good for us to memorize this du'a for us to ask Allah that to ask Him to give us light uh, so that we are able to cross the sirat when we need that. Okay? Because it is a very terrible sight. Even the prophets, even the prophets will shout on that night, they will say, Ya nafsi nafsi. Yeah, they, will, they will be very, very scared. Even the prophets, what about us? Okay, so it's a very tremendous sight. So we need to ask Allah to guide us and to help us 
by firstly we need to do what is told in the first part which is sincere repentance okay if we repent to Allah sincerely inshallah especially in the month Ramadan inshallah everything will be forgiven okay I won't uh, elaborate more because we're gonna cover cover the part about the um, fasting later inshallah okay can you pass it please Ramzi, sorry, can you give the sisters below? Please. Okay, b before we go to the next topic, I just want to share with you uh, on page 2, yeah, number 7.